Hey, this is John Crawford with Lumen. I'm the Director of Applications Engineering, and I'm here today to talk about selecting circuits for your Lumen Smart Panel during installation. Now, the first configuration that we'll talk about is the solar on a main distribution panel with storage and Lumen connected on that same main distribution panel. We're going to start here because this is the most popular configuration due to our off-grid mode and how it allows for a dynamic and configurable backup, and many times eliminates the need for that pesky protective loads panel altogether. So when you are installing your Lumen in your storage system on a main distribution panel, the first thing that we recommend is selecting any loads that are greater than what your storage system is rated for. So if you have a battery system that's rated for 30 amps, we first recommend taking a look at that main distribution panel and seeing which ones are rated for higher than 30 amps and connecting those to your Lumen Smart Panel first. The intention here is to immediately shed those loads during an outage to better protect your battery system. The second set of loads that we'll recommend connecting to your Lumen Smart Panel are those that you may or may not want to use during an extended outage. These could be based on individual rooms or appliances that fit with a certain lifestyle preference. So these could be things like ranges, laundry machines, and other circuits that you may, again, may or may not want to use during an outage. Lastly, if there are any lines remaining to connect to your Lumen Smart Panel, we recommend talking to your homeowner and figuring out which ones they want to control and which ones they want to have a good monitoring system set up for. Now, it's very important to note that with our Lumen Smart Panel and the Energy Management Platform, any circuit that we do not connect to will by default be backed up. So we generally recommend not connecting to the smallest circuits in any given home and making sure that the homeowners don't use those excessively during an outage. The next configuration that we'll talk about will be Lumen and solar and storage connected on a protected or backed up loads panel. Now in this scenario, we're going to follow very similar steps that we did in the last. However, if you've got a backed up loads panel that has 12 or fewer circuits, this makes it really easy. We're just going to connect to all of them. Second, if you've got more than 12 circuits, we're going to first select those ones that are uh, questionable, meaning you may or may not want to control and use those during an outage. So again, these will be the ones that could perhaps be based on certain lifestyles that you'll potentially want to use during an outage, but not always so that you can conserve that battery life. And again, if any women uh, lines remain, go ahead and select those per your homeowner preference and keep those smallest ones disconnected. The last scenario we'll go through today is your typical grid tied solar PV with no storage. And this is really the most customizable and should be based on the homeowner's preferences for which circuits they want to be able to monitor and which ones they want to be able to control and schedule and automate with the Lumen Smart Panel. One recommendation we do have for these types of circuits is connecting to the largest dedicated circuits. These could be ones that have individual appliances or systems connected to them, such as your HVAC systems your water heaters, your range, your dryers, your EV chargers, or anything else that has a single appliance at the end. And if you do decide to connect to a branch circuit, one trick we have is just nicknaming that branch circuit during the registration process so that you know what it is, like a family room, a living room, or perhaps key appliances that are connected, like a microwave or a refrigerator. And that concludes the Lumen demonstration on which loads to select during your installation. And if you enjoyed this video, we uh, suggest that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out some of our other videos such as Lumen and Off-Grid and how it all works. Thanks!